If you took out a first plus loan in the past and never fully paid it off, then you may have received a letter or even a home visit from a company called Elderbridge Debt Collectors. There are a few things that will rob you of sleep and push stress levels up, like a debt collector chasing you for money. Today we'll tackle this by looking at five of the most important things you need to know when dealing with Elderbridge debt collectors. Just to be clear, I don't give financial advice, I'm just making sure that you have access to the information that you need to make informed decisions. So number one, are Elderbridge debt collectors legitimate? If you don't recognize the company name, then that's likely because Elderbridge have purchased your debt as First Plus have sold it to Elderbridge. I can confirm that Elderbridge Debt Collectors is a UK registered company. Whilst there are a bunch of scams out there when it comes to debt collectors, I'm afraid this is unlikely to be a scam. However, you should never pay unless you are certain that the debt is yours. You're well within your rights to ask Elderbridge Debt Collectors to provide proof that the debt is yours. So what happens if you ignore Elderbridge debt collectors? Well, your problem could escalate and become very serious. Elderbridge debt collectors does have the right to take court action against you. If you were to ignore court letters, then you could end up with a county court judgment, which could have a major impact on your credit score and chances of borrowing money in the future. If you do get a CCJ and still don't pay, then this could ultimately result in bailiffs coming to your home to take your valuable items or even your car. There's a big difference between having a debt collector like Elderbridge Debt Collectors chasing you and having bailiffs come to your home. I can't urge you enough that now is the time to take action on your debt while there's still options available to you. So please, please don't ignore Elderbridge Debt Collectors and we'll get to what you can do instead later in the video. So what are the rules that Elderbridge debt collectors have to follow? Despite being legally appointed to collect your debt or outright owning your debt, there are several things that Elderbridge debt collectors cannot do when it comes to collecting debts. Knowing what Elderbridge debt collectors can and can't do will make you feel a lot more comfortable and confident when dealing with them. They're not allowed to visit you at your place of work without you giving them specific permission to do so. Before this rule was put in place, some debt collectors would show up when you're working and try to make things awkward for you as a way of pressurising you into paying. On a similar note, they're not allowed to speak to neighbours, friends or family about your debt. Again, this is to stop them from trying to embarrass or shame you into paying your debts. Elderbridge debt collectors can't contact or visit your home at unreasonable times of day. For phone calls, most people would agree that calls before 8am are too early and calls after 9pm are too late, but your circumstances may be different. For example, if you work a night shift. If you can't take calls at certain times, then tell them. They should keep a record of this and try to avoid calling you at these times. By the way, for home visits, the regulations say that debt collectors need to clearly explain the purpose and intended outcome of the proposed visit and give you adequate notice of the date and the likely time of the visit. You're well within your rights to complain if they keep calling or keep visiting your home at the times that you told them to avoid. Next, it's also good to know that they're not allowed to act in a threatening or an intimidating way. Also, they should never pressurise you into paying larger instalments than you can afford or hitting payment deadlines that are just impossible. The regulations say that they're not allowed to pressure you into selling your home or to take out more credit to pay back your debt. Also good to know, Elderbridge debt collectors can't pretend to be bailiffs or enforcement agents. Unlike bailiffs, debt collectors can't force their way into your house or refuse to leave when you ask them to. And they're certainly not allowed to take any of your belongings or clamp your car. Okay, so how long can you be chased for debt? Well, under the UK's Limitation Act of 1980, a creditor has six years to chase most unsecured unpaid debts or 12 years for some mortgage debt. This limitation period starts from the time of your last payment or when you last acknowledge the debt. Ultimately, debt collectors cannot enforce their debts through the courts after six years, but if you've already been taken to court and have a CCJ registered against you, then there's actually no end date for how long you can be chased. So if First Plus have sold Elderbridge an old debt of yours and you haven't received a CCJ or made a payment for over six years, then you might want to check if the limitation period applies to you. How do I pay less and come to an agreement with Elderbridge debt collectors? Well, there are a number of ways that you might be able to reduce the amount you pay. If Elderbridge debt collectors are adding interest and charges to your debt, then you could ask to freeze them to help you get back on track and clear your debts quicker. Debt collectors are more likely to stop or reduce interest and charges 
if you can prove that you're in financial difficulty. Maybe you could put together a budget showing your income and essential living costs so that you can clearly demonstrate your position. You could also use that same budget to negotiate a reduced payment. Again, for this, you will need to show why you can't afford a higher repayment. So make sure that you're clearly showing your income and essential living costs so that you can demonstrate what you can afford. Sometimes debt collectors will agree to a reduced payment for a short period of time, and then at the end of this period, they'll want an update on your situation. Other times, they will agree to a much longer repayment period. It will depend on the nature of your debt and your individual circumstances. If you have the cash, you could make a final settlement offer. This is where you ask if they'll let you pay a lump sum instead of the full balance that you owe on the debt. In return for having a lump sum payment, some debt collectors will agree to write off the rest of the debt. These aren't the only options that are available in the UK, there's actually a bunch more. Some are free to use and some include fees. Each of them will have their own pros and cons. If you want to learn more about the debt solutions I mentioned, or you want to find out about other debt solutions available in the UK, then we've created a really great form that I'd recommend you check out. Click the link in the description to get started and answer a few multiple choice questions like the total amount of your debt, how many people you owe, your living situation and a few others, and we'll connect you with one of our trusted partners so you can find out more and take steps towards improving your financial situation.